time and money calculations. So the sort of questions that we'll be looking at today are things like Leanne's annual pay is this much, how much does she get per fortnight? Or Tim earns $12.70 an hour, how much will he earn for working 30 hours this week? So to solve these, we do have to remember how many days in a week and things like that. So we have seven days in a week, two weeks in a fortnight, twenty six fortnights in a year, fifty two weeks in a year. And then we might also need 365 days in a year or 12 months in a year. So with that information, we can do all this type of finance calculation. So it's a word question. Now in your workbook, you wouldn't write out the word question, but because it's an example in your textbook, in your notes you do. Leanne's annual pay is $57,290. How much does she earn per fortnight? So her annual pay is this much. So we actually just start by writing down what we know. You can write one year is 57,290 or you can write 57,290 in one year. Now, that's one year and I want to know about fortnights. So the next row I need, instead of writing one year, just writes how many fortnights that is. So it's still $57,290 in one year is 26 fortnights. So instead of writing one year, we write 26 fortnights. From there, that's the information we need to find out per fortnight, which is one fortnight. And the way we do this is we say, well, how did I get from 26 to 1? I had to multiply or divide by something. And anything divided by itself is 1. So what they've done is they've divided by 26 to get down to 1 fortnight. Divided by 26. And I'm going to have to do this on this side as well. Divide by 26. And that makes sense because dividing is sharing or splitting up. And that's splitting up this whole year into 26 bits, which will be the value of one fortnight. And so all you do is you grab your calculator, 57,290 divided by 26, and she gets, whoops, try to move my calculator so you can see it, $2,203.46. Don't forget to say in. Now, because it's a word question, if we're being really perfect, we write a word answer. We answer the question, how much does she earn per fortnight? Leanne earns $2,203.46 per fortnight. And the nice thing about this method is that it always helps us to work out if we times or divide. So here we have Tim earning $12.70 an hour. So that's the bit of information we've got. And the question is, how much will he get for working 30 hours this week? So we say $12.70 for one hour. Now, the time is still hours, so it's not like I have to change to days or anything, but I want it for 30 hours. So, 
how did I get from 1 to 30? It's always going to be times or divide. 1 times 30 would give me 30 hours. So I'm going to do times 30 here as well. And that makes sense because if I've got $12.70 for one hour, I've got 30 lots of that for 30 hours. So setting it out like this really just helps us not get mixed up about whether we times or divide. $12.70 times 30, make sure you can see that. $12.70 times 30, you don't actually need the end zero when you do decimals, but you can put it in if you want. 381. So he gets $381 for 30 hours. And remember, the question was, how much will he earn for working 30 hours this week? Tim will earn $381 for working 30 hours hours. So the steps are you write down what it is that you know about our pay, then you work out when you still need to be in the same units or are we changing, work out what it is that we want to know and how we got to there was it times or divide.